Ransom's pass for James Hood is intercepted by Les Brown in the first quarter. One Ransom passing for James Hood. The interception by Les Brown. Still in the second quarter, Ransom to James Hood. Once again, Brown with the interception. This time, the return for the Cats is 25 yards. To James Hood, but this time Ben Zambiazzi with the interception after the lateral to Les Brown. The return is 72 yards, and here it is, the touchdown. So, Les Brown's fourth interception of the game. Football player hands off on the reverse to Les Brown. The return for the Ticats on the night they could do nothing wrong was 42 yards. Trying to move pop out to Dennis again, deflected again, intercepted by Les Brown. The 18-yard return leading to a Hamilton field goal. Middle of that first quarter, blocking the Calgary punt. The ball will roll into touch at the Stampede 18 yard line. Eleven of the half, third quarter. Good 31 yard kickoff return by number 15, Les Brown. Here's the kickoff, 60 yards to set up a tight half field goal. The longest kickoff return by the tight hats in 1986. They've used three of them already, and they've all resulted in touchdowns. Matt Pierce gives to Les Brown, a reverse by Winnipeg. Les Brown looking for a hole. In a race to the end zone, Barry's after him, brings him down at about the 17-yard line. Les Brown taking that reverse from Matt Pierce. Dunnigan being chased by Jones, gets the pass away, it is intercepted. Les Brown, who led the CFL in interceptions with 10, picks off the throw intended for David Williams. So he made the tackle. There's a fine cornerback uh, from University, Eric Streeter. Came out of University, came to the BC Lions. We really like the speed that he had, and when Streeter can catch around, has been playing a whale of a ball game. Les Brown and David Williams. Second and 10. This time the pass goes the other way to Winfield. Has he got it? It's intercepted. Uh, and yet Mike Riley tells us today he feels Les Brown's had the best year he's had in his career. Now he's got a pretty tough receiver to handle here one-on-one. -on -one. Look at the coverage. Sure, he's one-on-one -on -one right with him. Ball's up. They both jump. Now just who comes down. So I will get that ball right in and he lands it. That's about you'll cover the one-on-one cover. Les Brown, now just one interception away from equal and against Tom Porras, a key aspect of the game. And we are underway for the third time this season, the Bombers and the Argos. And this is Lorenzo Rivers with a kickoff return across the 45, has the ball ripped out of his arms, and the Bombers... Have ...in a bad spot early in the football game. Give the other team an opportunity that you don't make them earn by moving the ball down the field. 32-yard return, it was less to look for the same cure. And that's almost a big one. Yes, it could be the other way. Dunnigan, the only man to get him. Les Brown is knocked out of bounds. Defensive right. back should. And just pluck that out of the air. You see him, and it's just a foot race here. Well, that's what Dunnigan's trying to do. Except he throws another interception. Les Brown 
who had one earlier, has another one. That was great after that hit. Under a minute to go, and Dunian, he's still trying to get something out of this game, but what he gets is the Argos' 10th turnover, Les Brown's third interception. He's taken down inside the 15-yard line. Now, Argos again just sitting, uh, excuse me, Bombers again just sitting back in that zone defense, letting things develop. Oh, what a kick by Baker. It's taken by Les Brown at the 50 yard line. Les Brown gets the block, cut back inside. Only Baker can prevent him from scoring, and he does. With a big one on this most recent Terry Baker kick. Oh, he got some good blocking early. And he took off, and I can't but remember what Daryl Rogers told us. Oh, we're going to rush every punt because we're not very good on returns. Hey, Daryl, that's not bad. He got the down 10. Allen throwing deep. It's intercepted. Left ground leads the way. It's a post corner cut. It hung up just a little bit too much. Bobby Gordon's backing away. Didn't expect the ball to be underthrown. Watch Les Brown. He played the ball perfectly. Came out of nowhere. 